Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mr. Action back at you with another episode of Packed In Action Figure Reviews where we give you that action that's packed in. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Carded Tombstone and I'm super excited to be going over this figure with you guys today. Now truth be told, Tombstone was always one of those characters that I did not know much about. I've always treated him as like a sub-villain or a sub-boss. Uh, you know, as opposed to a main villain. And I think that's mainly due to him being underutilized in popular media. It wasn't actually up until I started watching the Spectacular Spider-Man animated series where I feel like they did this character some justice. Uh, he is voiced by Keith David, which is the same voice actor as Spawn in the HBO series. So I definitely feel like, you know, they fleshed out his character a lot more and made him more appealing, which actually drew me to uh, actually picking up this figure. Uh, so without further ado, let's get this guy out of the box and let's take a closer look at what this tombstone delivers. And here he is, Lonnie Thompson Lincoln, AKA Tombstone, right out of the box. And guys, I can honestly say, you know, I'm actually really feeling this figure a lot more than I actually anticipated. I don't know if it's, you know, the blue in the suit that makes the figure pop. I don't know if it's the head sculpt, but there's just something about this figure that for some reason or the other, man, it just really stands out. I think Hasbro did a phenomenal job with the sculpt work. Uh, you know, of course, unfortunately, you know, because this is a suited body, there is going to be some trade offs uh, you know when it comes down to the articulation specifically in the mid torso section um, but apart from that you know I think that this figure actually is well executed I do have my you know personal nitpicks uh, you know with the neck articulation I do wish that we did have some more neck articulation but apart from that I think that Hasbro did a phenomenal job with the execution of this figure I definitely feel like they captured the essence of Tombstone and I feel like you know they did him justice as far as you know representing him in action figure form so without further ado let's get this guy off the stand and let's take a closer look so first things first, jumping right over into accessories. I think we got a pretty good fair amount of accessories that come with our tombstone. Starting off with our standard fisted hands, I think they did a pretty good job with, you know, the molding on this. I do like the attention to detail with like, you know, some of the vein work that you see on there. So, you know, I am happy that, you know, it is not flat plastic. Then we also do have like almost like an open hand. You can use this hand for many different poses. And I do like they have, I do like that they have the line work inside of the palm area. We we do see that there is let me get that to focus for you guys we do see that there is some fingertips and similar to the fisted hands we do see that there is some vein work in there as well and then taking a look at his um his trigger finger hand or you know him holding his weapon over here i can't remember what it's called for the life of me um then we also do have this hand here and you know it does hold his weapon really 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 nice uh, as we can see if we were to put it inside boom you would see that he does actually hold it pretty well and then if you wanted to take it up a step further and actually put like a gun in his hand I guess that you could do the same thing as well then over here taking a look at his crowbar thank you that's what it was his crowbar we do see that there is some kind of metallic sheen on there it's not a whole lot but it's just enough to get the job done and I do think that this came out really really well man um, you know, we do have like the little part here where you can, you know, pry things open and vice versa. So I do like that he did come with this other than just re regular standard fisted hands. And then last but not least, we actually have this very, very nice head sculpt. And I am very, actually very pleased with how this came out. The attention to detail on this head sculpt actually came out really, really nice, man. Even looking at some of the wrinkle work in the, you know, the brow area even taking a look at his teeth we do see that you know they did stay true to the comics and they did give him you know those nice sharp teeth and then over here taking a look at his head sculpt man taking a look at the hair i think they did a really really good job um it almost would appear as if there's some kind of wash in there but even if there wasn't i think that it works for this character being that you know his skin is of this color so very good amount of accessories that we get with this guy very pleased with what we got now jumping right along over into the aesthetics of this figure, I honestly feel like Hasbro did a phenomenal job at the execution of capturing the essence of Tombstone. I think when we look at the various uh, source materials to choose from, I think Hasbro did a pretty good job at replicating that look and you know, I think they really nailed it, man. I mean, oh, first things first, taking a look at the head sculpt, 
I really do. Let me get that to focus for you guys. Uh, first things first, taking a look at the head sculpt. I really do like the attention, the detail that they have here, man. You know, whatever technology that they're continuing to do uh, for the head sculpts, man, is definitely knocking the ball out of the park each and every single time. Even taking a closer look at some of, you know, the waves in the hair or some of the texture in the hair, I think they did a pretty decent job at doing so. Then over here, taking a look at the actual suit itself, I'm actually pretty pleased and excited that we do have a new body uh, suit. Uh, you know, oftentimes we get repeats of, you know, the same suited body over and over again. So it is really nice that we did get something different. And I really do like the attention to detail with some of the wrinkles on here. You know, even how his suit is conformed to his body, I think that the wrinkle work is accurate to what it would be like in real life if this person was wearing a real suit. Now this can come off if you tear it apart. I have actually seen Robo Don't Know uh, actually do that. So if you want to see what he looks like without his uh, jacket, you can check out his channel and you'll see it there. But you know, just taking a look at the rest of his suit, man, even taking a look at the handkerchief, you know, I do like that they use, you know, a nice blue that pops, you know, it definitely makes the figure pop. You know, even taking a look at, you know, his his undershirt, you know what I'm saying? We do see the line work there with the stripes and the tie. So all in all, man, a really, really nice figure over here. Taking a look at the side, we do see that we do have more wrinkle work. And even coming down over here to his cuffs, we do see that, you know, the design from the shirt follows through down to his hands. And, you know, really, really, really well executed figure, man. Even down over here to the buttons on you know his jacket i think it came out well then taking a look at the back of it it's the same thing man we have the wrinkle work continuing to go through the back and even through the back of the arms really good stuff man and taking a look at his slacks honestly it's the same thing man you know very very nice wrinkle work a little baggy here in the back for me for my part particular taste but since you know we're going to be seeing this figure uh straight on most of the times that's really where that's where it's really gonna matter then over here taking a look at the front we do see that you know the slacks continue he does have that nice seam uh you know over here in the middle of the leg and then he also has some really nice shiny boots man and i do like the way you know how you know his shoes came through man definitely a very nice looking figure man definitely a very nice looking figure very pleased to have it now jumping over into the articulation of this figure, it is no surprise that when we usually get sculpts like this, uh, specifically with, you know, suited bodies, that the articulation is going to suffer a bit. So taking a look over here at Tombstone with the head, unfortunately the head is one solid piece, the neck and head is attached, so you're not going to get that much range of motion, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, the only thing that you'll be able to do uh, that you'll be able to get with this guy as far as articulation is you'll be able to get his head to look left and you'll be able to get his head to look right but apart from going looking down he won't be able to do that because as you guys can see the neck and the head is attached into one piece so that is a bit of a bummer it would have been nice if we would have had like maybe a neck and hinge just to kind of get some more range of motion when it comes down to the articulation then going down to the arms even though his arms are bulky we can get him in that nice t-man pose so i do think that this is a pretty good range of motion for especially for a suited body then we also do have biceps swivel 360 degrees we also do have double jointed elbows that go way beyond 90 degrees which i think is really good and then for his wrist articulation he can go down about this much and he can go up about this much and what i like about this hand with the hinge since he is holding his crowbar the hinge actually does go side to side so it would make sense for him wielding this weapon utilizing that then when it comes down over here to the mid torso section of course because he is wearing this bodied suit um, it is going to hinder some of the articulation a bit uh, but surprisingly even with the suit on there the plastic is somewhat soft enough so you can get him to bend but if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys the bending is very 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 limited um, and even if we were trying to bend him backwards you know you're not going to really get that much range of motion um, you know you can if you kind of like fudge it a little bit but for the most part the range of motion is going to be lacking severely in the mid torso section then moving right along over into the waist section he does have waist rotation which is really 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 nice his legs can go up about this much they can go back about that much they do split a relatively decent amount and he also does have double jointed knees where his boot is very close to the butt 
Then taking a look at his shoes, his shoes is, he doesn't have a boot cut, but I mean, you can flip the shoe uh, 360 degrees. It is on a ball peg and on a hinge, so his legs do go down about this far, and they do go up about this much. So minus, you know, the horrible articulation in the mid torso, which I think uh, is gonna be expected from most of you when we just, you know, take a first look at this figure at first glance. Apart from that and the neck, I think that this articulation for this guy actually came out pretty decent. Now jumping into some size comparisons, we do have some Spider-Man villains lined up for you guys. So over there to the left, we do have Morlin, which was a part of the Armadillo Build-A-Figure wave, if I remember correctly. And over there to the right, we also do have our Venom. And for some enemies of Tombstone, we do have Ben Riley over there to the left. And then we also do have the retro-carded Spidey over there to the right. And I think that this Tombstone sizes are pretty accurate to the Spider-Man. And for some more enemies of Tombstone, we do have our classic red and yellow Daredevil, and then we also do have Elektra. And for some more figures outside of your Marvel Legends collection, we do have the Jada Toys Chun-Li, and then we also do have Super Mario. And then for some more figures outside of your Marvel Legends collections, we do have the Hasbro G.I. Joe Action Soldier Infantry, and then we also do have our Outback Stewart. Also, if you wanted to know what this tombstone looks like compared to the previous Marvel Legends release, here he is. Unfortunately, I do not have a physical figure for that tombstone, but I do have this picture here provided by way of the MCU collector. So shout outs to him for providing the pic. So, after all is said and done, I think Hasbro did a phenomenal job with the execution of this tombstone figure, man. You know, I'm very pleased to, you know, add this, uh, you know, Spider-Man villain to my collection. You know, it was not a figure that initially I was, you know, excited about picking up. But, you know, actually after seeing it in person and having it in hand, man, I definitely changed my opinion on it. Now, again, that's not to say that this uh, figure is perfect. You know, there is a lack of articulation in the mid-torso section, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, but you know because this is a suited body you know that's something that I could live with however uh, you know what really bugs me a lot is the head articulation you know because the neck and the head is one solid piece you are going to get a very limited range of motion with the neck so I honestly wish that you know Hasbro could have found a way to fix that neck articulation so that way we can get you know a little bit more attitude you know uh, but apart from that I think that this is a pretty solid figure if I had to give this guy an overall rating I'd give him a solid 8.5. I feel like this figure excels at many different things, but again, as we just mentioned, I do think that the hindrance of the articulation of the neck as well as the mid torso definitely hold this figure back a bit. But apart from that, I still think that this is a pretty solid figure and I am super excited to add it to my collection. So guys, with that being said, thanks for checking out another episode of Packed In Action Figure Reviews, where we give you that action that's packed in. Please like and subscribe and comment as it helps out my channel tremendously. Thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my channel. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Signing out.